Hold it there. Yep. How tall are you? Um, I don't know, 5'8". Five 5'8". Eight. Five eight. That way. A security screening room as fabricated as the threats it's protecting us from. Any guns, grenades or unicorns on you today? No? I think that's the point of American artist Bill Barminsky's entrance to Dismaland. Over here, sir. Banksy says this is a different kind of family day out. Welcome to Dismaland. Enjoy. One he says that sends a more appropriate message to the next generation. Sorry, kids. Sorry about the lack of meaningful jobs, global injustice and Channel 5. A step away from street art, this is Banksy's graffiti rendered into 3D. Can I buy one? With some of his traditional themes and some new and shocking ones. So the refugee crisis off the shores of Europe becomes the subject of the remote controlled motorboats. And he's gathered the work of more than 50 artists from around the world, from Palestinian painters to Julie Burchill. Good day to you, my audience. You seem a smashing bunch. Let me introduce myself. My name is Mr. Punch. I'm part of your folk history, like Saucy Jack the Ripper. We're both a lovely bit of fun, like beating up a stripper. That's the way to do it, that's the way to do it. A lovely bit of fun, a lovely little slap tick. That's the way it's done. Yeah! Banksy sent me an email and he said, would you, um, would you write us in a modern Punch and Judy uh, show? And I've been being the victim of domestic violence for quite a long time. I thought, yeah, I can really get behind that because it's so weird and odd that children, British children are raised on the side of uh, this comic character beating up his wife. And then you want to applaud and think it's a wonderful thing. You've not done art before though, have you? No, I'm definitely what you could call a Philistine. And always, you know, coming from a redneck background, quite, quite proud of that fact. But I've always admired Banksy from his politics. You mean his politics on Gaza? Specifically, yeah. I think he talks a load of border dash about it. He doesn't know anything. Oops, I said too much. Why can't he stick to things like this? Dismaland was perhaps part inspired by the work of Jeff Gillette, who's been subverting Disney for years from his home in California. And I see it as kind of an absurd little teeny pocket of fantasy. And then the rest of the world is a different story. And what I do is I try to find the absolute opposite of the happiest place on earth. And I'm a natural born pessimist. And I'm thinking, well, I've been a pessimist for 30 years, 40 years, and it hasn't gotten that bad, but it seems like it's just kind of ramping up. I don't know what's going on in the world and it's scaring the hell out of me. That's the Home Secretary giving a press conference up here. So the only people left are the media and the police. Yeah. Jimmy Corti, remembered by some for his 90s incarnation in the KLF, has brought a different kind of street art, a model of a town after a riot. And the only people that are left are the, the police. So there's about 3,000 police just kind of standing around, not really doing anything. It's all, whatever's happened has, has it's happened. already happened. It's happened. So this is the aftermath of that. In a television piece about Banksy, this is normally where I would say, but where is Banksy? Could he be here? Could it be that bloke over there or this bloke over here? Well, I'm one of the few television journalists, perhaps the only one, who has actually met the artist in person. And I can tell you, that's definitely not him. <laughs> Banksy doesn't do interviews, but he emailed me today to say, for this show, I didn't deliberately set out to snub street art. I just found other stuff a lot more interesting. I seem to have reached a point where an art show is more interesting the less I'm in it. Dismal Land has popped up for six weeks in Western Supermare, with 4,000 people allowed in each day at £3 a ticket. They can play Crazy Gulf, a war about oil. Oh, gosh. That really is dismal. Lost the ball. <laughs> or play hook a duck from the muck. How can this be in so impossible? Children in need of more cash can borrow against their pocket money. Hello. At just 5,000% APR. And the climax, of course, lies in the castle. 
It is perhaps the most outrageous piece in the exhibition and will no doubt draw furious, offended headlines. What Banksy has done with a fairy princess, an upturned carriage and the paparazzi is an extraordinary and evocative experience. It is precisely what he wants. Controversy, humour and two fingers up to anyone who doesn't like it. And how else to leave any bemusement park but to exit through the gift shop? 